Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Corey. Today, Poblano and Corn Smash Burgers. We're gonna do that on the Blackstone, but first I gotta give a couple plugs to a couple people that deserve them. Hey, the first is Ben. And Ben has got some dope, wonderful stuff. I mean, look at this serving thing. And he is at Heartwood Handcrafted. He's my neighbor, it's like 10 yards away over there. So I bought this beautiful serving board and look at this for Chopomatic, a brand new board for Chopomatic. So go check him out. I will drop his stuff in the description. He's got utensils, he's got everything else to go with it. Check him out. You will love his stuff. Secondly, Chuck's Wood Barn, my aunt and uncle. And they are wonderful. Chuck's Wood Barn specializes in steam bending wood. So like those trunks, camelback trunks is what they call them. So those old trunks that you see like in the Titanic and stuff that were wasted away, they remake those, they don't remake them, they make them. Anyway, this is, they do little things, this is their keepsake box, secret little compartment down here. Look at that. They got a lot of little stuff on their site and a lot of big stuff like armoires, you name it, they got it on their saddle, whatever. And um, catch all, it's like so. Boot jacks, which I couldn't find the boot jack. But anyway, go check out Chuck's Wood Barn. Wonderful site. Check them both out. Anyway, let's get to cooking next on Cooking with Corey. All right, our ingredients of the day 80 20 Chuck. Obviously, some burger buns, some delicious aged cheddar, some bacon. And I'm going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to use the leftover uh, cream cheese and Orange bone cheese, roughly some poblanos, some onion, some leftover dad incredible corn, some garlic maybe, I haven't decided yet. There you go, that's the start of our ingredients, let's get cooking. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we got to make our poblanos to get those ready to go in the kettle because we need to smoke these off, get them cooked through, get a nice char in them. So there we are. Two beautiful poblano peppers and uh, we're going to give them some oil and uh, we're going to get that oil all around on them like so. Yeah, get them all lubed up with that oil. What we're doing, we're going to roast these just so we can take the skin off of them and uh, make them tender. And so we're going to be good on our burgers, so uh, kosher salt. As I always say, since Himalayan is a big thing now, you may use that. Or you may use the stuff in the little salt shaker. It all works. It's salt, it's salt. So, well, salt's no salt. We'll taste a little different, but it is what it is. Press hit a cracked pepper. I will do that on all sides, and these are going to go get a nice smoky bath in the kettle. All right, time to make our delicious cheese topping for our blanca corn. And to do that, we got this leftover cream cheese from our last vid. Four ounces. Yep, that goes in there. And we got our delicious mascarpone, however you want to say it. And uh, we got four ounces of that, which is going to go into the mix, like so. Yes, all right, that's looking delish. And with that, we got uh, our delicious four ounces of two-year 
cheddar cheese there. That goes in the mix. And with that, we're going to add just a little bit of salt. And obviously, we're going to add some nice cracked pepper to that. Decent amount, because cheese and all that's got everything but cracked pepper. And then we're going to add, uh, hey, that garlic we worked on, hey, let's get that in there too. And we're going to mix. When you're done, your wonderful cheese mixture should look about like that. That's going to be our cheese for our poblano corn burgers. Smash burgers, which we're doing at Blackstone next. All right, we were out trying to get a char on our poblanos, so that way they feel easier. So, look at that. That's what you're looking for. You don't have to do it fast, you do it slow. This is what we're doing right here. I got this right over the coals. And those will be done. We're going to take them in. I'm going to put them in a bowl and I'm going to cover them. It doesn't matter how you do it, if you want to, whatever. That way it steams it, then we can get the skins off them and um, onto the smash burger here soon. And in the bowl they go. Nice and roasted peppers. Right, it's hot. Cover it how you will. We're doing press and seal all the way around. All right, let them hang out a few minutes and then we'll peel them. We're gonna go uh, put the corn in the smash burger and we are gonna put the onion in the smash burger and we are gonna build a delicious smash burger that you have never seen. All right guys, sorry about the wind. I'm sure there's gonna be wind. It's windy out here right now, unfortunately. But it's time. Get these smash burgers going. Can't wait no more. And we are gonna get them going here. I'm cooking with Corey. We're gonna lay down a little oil. Our uh, 80 20 fall meat right there. Heck yeah. Looking good. Alright. All right, anyway, so I promised you corn and pepperoni, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to start with a half smash. Half smash, yeah. Yeah, that's my new term, half smash. And then, we're half smash, we're adding a pile of corn. And each one of our patties with some onions. And smashing that in there while we're doing it. Alright. We're gonna do that. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Absolutely. And then we're gonna smash the rest of the way down. Smash it down. That's good. Get all that stuff in there. Put all that in there. And you hold it a little bit. Put that on there and just let lay the whatever to it for a little bit. We got a 36 inch black sun on here. We got our two lefts on high. We got our third on medium. And we got our last turned off. Um, all right, we're gonna share. All right, our Pablano smash burgers are working. But there's only one problem. We need to add the Pablano to them. Look at those. We worked hard on getting those all done. Get those on there. Let's heat it through. Once you roast it on the kettle, you do a good job. You can take the skins off. Not all of them. It's not perfect. I mean, if you want to be perfect about it, well, go ahead and be perfect about it. 
Let me heat those up. And while we're here, let's see how we're looking on our snaz burger. Let's look at this other side. Look at that. Look at that, guys. I'll tell you what. <coughs> Excellent. Here we go. Excellent. All right. We are looking good here on Smash Burger Nation. We'll be right back in s and All right, guys. We got your back. We got some bacon on there. And we are going to add... I flipped them back over. So we got our corn and our herbicide. So we're going to add our cheese mixture onto there. Look at that. Don't press down too hard. You don't want to break up that patty. Right there. Look at that. Tell me that's not looking good. All right, that's excellent. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take these over to the other side of our Blackstone and uh, just let those chill out a little bit. We're going to finish our delicious bacon here. Take these over. Definitely do this in a pan. Hey, and that is leftover sad, incredible corn, by the way. All right. We're going to add one more little fling and build this burger next. All right, guys, we got one last raw for this uh, burger here. Um, obviously, some oil. And uh, we're going to give it an over easy egg. So we're going to salt and pepper that egg. Because, you know, that's what you need to do. All right, look at that go, and we are going to take this inside and build this delicious burger. All right, everybody, we're back to build this delicious poblano corn smash burger. Hey, we got one of Ben's serving boards right here, and obviously his cutting board here, so obviously I'm going to leave him down in the description, along with uh, my uncle Sherry. Er my Uncle Sherry, my Aunt Sherry, my Uncle Chuck's site down there too, Chuck's Wood Barn. Uh, don't, don't forget to check those out. So let's just start here with a delicious patty. Obviously I have impeccably clean hands and we all know that by now, all right? And uh, two uh, slices of delicious bacon. And uh, we're gonna do some poblano on there. Look at that delicious poblano on there. Oh, that's looking so good. And just to shake it up a little bit right in the middle there, we're gonna put our delicious over easy egg, which is looking delicious, I might add. And um, we're gonna go from there and we'll be back and finish plating this. All right, so we got our egg on there. So now all we can do with my impeccably clean hands is put another patty on top of there. Some more of our roasted poblanos on top of that. But oh, come on, tell me that's not looking good. We're gonna to top it with a little bit more of our delicious bacon that we did on the Blackstone. We're gonna give it a lid and then we are going to cut into this bad boy next. Alright everybody, our burger is looking amazing! Look at all that. Oh, we worked so hard on this thing and we're going to cut through it right now and then we're going to go ahead and add some stuff to it and plate it. So we're going to take a serrated knife and go right through it. Look at that guys, look at that. Deliciousness right there. It's starting to it's trying to fall over on me. No, that's all right. Look at that right there. All right, guys. Tell me that it's not a delicious looking Mr. Burger right there. Let's add just a little bit more to it. Let's add some nice, delicious, fresh coleslaw to it. Right there on the side. And I'll tell you what. 
That is one delicious looking burger. Hey, make it your own. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to Cooking with Corey. Click that bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.